The number one way that you're gonna save money on your food shopping is by meal planning and meal prepping. Trust me, this has literally changed my life. Now, a lot of people are gonna be thinking, that sounds like so much work, but trust me, it's literally not. You only have to do this once or twice a week and then you are set. Imagine how good it feels to open up your fridge. You've got meals literally there, ready to go. You're gonna save so much money and so much time on cooking and preparation because it's literally already done. I am not a chef. I hate cooking. I actually just, it's not, it doesn't come naturally to me. I don't enjoy it. So I do this like once a week. So today I'm going to take you through one of my classic meal prep recipes. I'm using this book from The Good Bite. These are high protein, really good meals. I absolutely love everything that I have tried from this book. I absolutely love. There is not one recipe which hasn't been incredible. So I honestly recommend this book so much so this is the recipe that i'm going for today it is the creamy peri peri rigatoni i love pasta i'm honestly such a huge pasta lover i can eat it every single day and i do eat it every single day so today i'm going to take you through this easy meal prep and trust me i'm not a chef this is like amateur hour over here so don't feel like you have to be good at cooking to be able to do this and honestly with pasta you can kind of make changes here and there to how you like it you can change a few things you can swap a few things out and it's totally fine and it will not ruin the recipe at all so let's get started so the ingredients that you're going to need for this pasta are two chicken breasts or 400 grams of chicken i go for the pre-sliced mini fillets just because this packet was exactly 400 grams it just made it a little bit easier two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of peri peri seasoning, 300 grams of rigatoni, but again, you can use whatever pasta you like, a splash of red wine vinegar or any vinegar. Now I did not have red wine vinegar and I've done this recipe before with just normal malt vinegar and it tastes perfectly fine. So honestly, any vinegar is fine. Two shallots, peeled and finely chopped. One sweet Romano pepper, finely chopped. Now I could not find Romano pepper in the supermarket at all. So I did just go for a normal red pepper and again, this works absolutely fine. Four tablespoons of light cream cheese. I absolutely love Philadelphia. We always have this in the fridge. Three tablespoons of tomato puree. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. One tablespoon of dried oregano a few handfuls of spinach, 50 ml of single cream, this is optional, and 30 grams of parmesan grated, plus extra to serve. So I usually always have pre-grated parmesan in the fridge specifically for my pasta dishes. So what we're gonna do first is place the chicken on a chopping board. I absolutely hate touching raw chicken, I don't know about anybody else, but that like gives me the egg. Um, I personally just prefer to cut it up into little pieces like this. Obviously, again, you can cut it up <laughs> into any sizes that you like. This is so gross. I hate this. So once the chicken is cut up the way that you prefer it, you're going to transfer it to a bowl and coat with one tablespoon of the olive oil and one tablespoon of the peri-peri seasoning. And obviously, you just want to absolutely coat the chicken in that seasoning. Okay, next we're going to boil some water and obviously cook the pasta. Make sure you salt your water first. So once the chicken's cooked, we're going to put it to one side while we cook the sauce. So next up, I'm just going to cut the pepper. Okay, so we are back to the same pan. We're gonna do a splash of vinegar. And we're gonna add the shallot and the red pepper. Okay, when the pasta is thoroughly cooked, we are going to make sure we are saving the pasta water. That is so important. Sometimes I forget. So we're gonna drain it into another pan so we can save that pasta water. Okay, next up we are adding four tablespoons of light cream cheese. Three tablespoons of tomato puree, that's about one. So you know, we wanna let that kind of melt in. One more tablespoon of peri-peri seasoning. 
about that much. Then we've got a tablespoon of oregano. Again, it's about that much. And then it's just one teaspoon of smoked paprika. About that much. Yes, it is mostly cream cheese. That is the gist of the sauce. So this is where the pasta water comes back. We're gonna put some pasta water in there. And this just obviously thins out the sauce so it's not gonna be so creamy. And now it is time to add the spinach. Again, you can literally add as much or as little as you want but it does it does literally just like wilt away so yeah let's just do a whole bunch and then we're also just gonna add 50 ml of single cream but again this is optional I feel like I should have used a big pan for this but the recipe does say to put the pasta into the sauce so totally should have used a bigger pan and just add 30 grams of parmesan or literally however much you want and stir that in Make it a little bit more cheesy and I put loads of parmesan on top when it's finished. If it's not creamy enough you can totally put in a little bit more pasta water. So that is literally it. I'm just going to portion it out into the containers and add the chicken at the end. These meal prep containers are actually from Tesco. They are glass and I think they just last so much longer well so far so good but yeah they're very very good quality they're better than the plastic ones so i would highly recommend checking out tesco for your meal prep containers okay i think that looks even <laughs> and just to top it off i'm gonna put a little bit more of the parmesan or a lot more because i absolutely love it it literally makes everything taste 10 times better so obviously i've done three that are going to go in the fridge and then this one i'm going to eat now because it is lunchtime guys honestly that was such a success because literally nothing went wrong everything went to plan which is quite shocking for me and my cooking skills but you know here we are we did it if i can do it you can do it as well so here's the taste test oh my god that is literally so good oh it's so like creamy and cheesy and it's got a lot of spice to it as well Oh my god, I hate it when people talk with food in their mouth and I just did that exact thing. I would highly, highly recommend The Good Bite. Check them out on all of their social media, on their website. You can get that book from Amazon. This is not sponsored at all. I just genuinely love that recipe book. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube, check me out on TikTok and Instagram and I might make this a series where I do meal prep videos. Let me know if you want more insights. Do you want to know how much each portion cost or anything like that please let me know in the comments and i will see you next time